Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM, episode number 98 now, I think. Uh, and we're trying to deal with our over flooded butane to convert it to rubber. Uh, so we've come way over here using a little bit of tungsten pipe for the first time. Um, and yeah, butane. Butane. Okay, so usage. Butane to benzene. So we're going to need some steam. Uh, okay, that's an interesting concept, getting some steam to happen. Um, <laughs> we probably need a bit of fuel for that to happen. We could probably steal a bit off this line, in truth. Um, so I'm not that concerned by the steam. Boiler 2's no good, we need boiler 1's. Boiler 2's are just a waste. Or... Fluid burning. Not sure that we actually have a whole lot of spare fluid boilers. Uh, fluid... or fluids to burn. Uh, if we could burn base mineral oil, but I don't believe that has any energy value. Um, fuel oil, on the other hand, does have some fuel value, but if we combine it here, I think what we get out is a lot more. One megajoule per watt, one unit. I guess that's 10 megajoules, hang on. Maybe I could just hook in to the fuel oil as an option. So if it's one, what are we actually doing? We're taking um, 20 to make two solid fuel. That's 24 plus the charcoal. I mean, this is really just a sink, so we could just use it directly. It's probably not hugely worse. Uh, what's the charcoal value for? 24. So this is just putting it into a different form. It's not really making it any better. So we could use the fuel oil directly in a fluid burner. That's really where I'm getting to. Um, which I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it out. Fluid boiling. Um, fluid boiler. It's going to have to go something like this. And if we send that out this way. Uh... Wait a sec, I think it needs to go something like that. Yes, that's right. Fluid burner, okay. Um, in that case, That's all right, or a bit high, whatever. Fluid burner, where are you? Fluid burner, there it is. And we need some water. Um, hide and seek game again. Am I actually building bits for that? It looks like I am, that's bad. Really shouldn't be, that's fiberglass. I don't know why I'm carrying fiberglass either. Uh, water. So we now have steam. Okay, so um, convert this stuff to the next step was um, 60 butane becomes 80 benzene in a steam cracker. Um, 
Yeah, steam crackers. Uh, steam cracker. What are we missing? We're missing brass to get the faster one. Why don't we start with the easy one? See what sort of difference this will make. I don't know how much rubber we actually need just yet. I just want to relieve pressure on the butane, basically. For now. This is the problem. I build a small build for now, and then I find that I need much more later on. Um, we could basically put this there. Uh, butane. That's the one that we want, and that's worked out perfectly by fluke. I don't mind admitting that was a complete and utter fluke. Um, Okay, so uh, from here, we have uh, benzene gas and residual gas. We know we can do things with residual gas because we are doing them, um, oh, it's quite a long way down now, isn't it? We're doing them down here, that's residual gas. So I could feed some residual gas into here and um, that would be fine. It just happens to be, it's not that far, given some of how far we've gone. Um, so anyway, um, we're now getting our benzene gas. So what's the next step? Benzene gas, uh, benzene gas. Uh, it looks like it's got another way of making phenol or it's got a way of making phenol. Um, oh, that's right, this one ends up being harder to do than I thought. Benzene, um, because we need ethylene and the difficult one, the hydrogen fluoride, of course. Uh, it was from ethyl benzene, benzene, I think, that we then get to styrene. Um, styrene gas. And the styrene gas is the one that uh, we can make into liquid rubber. Oh, with this one, which needs naphtha. We've got the steam. So we need to run some naphtha over here. Green metal catalyst, aluminium and silver. Ugh. Uh, all right, what I might do is set up a stop here where we could deliver some of that stuff. Um, so we need a bit more landfill. Five or six thousand, probably. This is just about full. Good to give it some more space. Um,
So I basically want um, this. Uh, although I don't actually need it coming in that much. I could put the warehouse on the out, well, the side I'm on. More like this one. Uh, so I guess we will copy this one in fact. If it goes, uh, yeah, that's the right direction actually. Uh, oh, why did I do that instead of a Q? Oh, good, it's gone away. Um, yeah, we're not interested in that. Or this, or that, just at the moment. And yes, this is an unloading station, that's correct. Uh, we need a requester. Oh, it's fine, it's changed the name, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, so, what we can do here is bring in the stuff that we need for the green metal catalyst, which is aluminium and silver. Um, I guess I should try and, in the meantime, build the intermediary. So benzene, uh, this is the uh, ethylene. I don't know what we do for the ethylene. Ethane and steam. Ethanol and sulfuric acid. Um, not sure about any of that. Do we have any ethane? Uh, ethanol. We have ethanol. I don't know just because it starts eth if it's uh, anything like what we actually need. Ethane. 16k of ethane is just down here. And there's more butane down here, so maybe we should have been building this down here, except that we need to use the butane that we've got up above. Uh, how much of this stuff do we need? Ethane. Ethane. Uh, maybe not too much. It's this one that we have major problems with. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to have to shut off acid gas going up here. Um, perhaps. And use the blue algae approach to making tungsten think. Uh, Alright. Stop going that way. Uh, hang on. No, you need to go that way. <laughs> that is the one way you do need to go. Stop going this way. Wish I could highlight this. Actually, I can highlight that. There, so I know. Uh, okay, so you, 28.9. You're not making any because none of this is doing anything. Uh, this part doesn't really do anymore. It's only when uh, the raw gas gets created that... Why 
actually. Oh, it's because the natural gas liquids isn't getting used because the methane. The methane um, is a pain. It's not. Um, it needs to get stored in a tank, actually. Wrong sort of tank. I want one of these tanks. Not that it actually matters. You can put liquids into the gas tank and gases into the liquids tank. But uh, just trying to be thematic, guys. Ugh. Um, okay, so... Let's do that. That lets this run continuously, that lets this one run continuously. Uh, we should now be getting a bit of acid gas slowly. Um, and our ethane is probably building up. I want to bring the ethane up to where we need it. Uh, which would mean we need a few more uh, lines. Uh, let's just shrink this down a bit, I guess. Start about there. Oops. Okay, so I think what I need is the ethane and the uh, acid gas to come up here. That one is the ethane, so let's have that go to there. And let's get acid gas. to come to there. And before we run out of all of this piping, um, actually what we should do maybe is yeah, put those two together and then maybe I can throw down some blueprints. Let's get some more pipe though. I'll just get another one of those. I think the... Yeah, that'll do. Um, 64 may have been enough, but while I'm there, I may as well take a bit more, I guess. Acid gas is building up quite fast now. Maybe we actually will have enough. to copy. That's not what we wanted to copy either.
Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is going to be slightly more awkward, isn't it? That'll do. Not a great corner, but it will do. We'll have to do something very similar just here. The next process after this one is uh, what? ethane and steam makes ethylene. Oh, no, it's um, we do need that, but we've got benzene. So benzene needs to go to ethyl benzene, which needs the ethylene, which um, is the ethane in a steam cracker. So we need another steam cracker. Uh, steam cracker, steam cracker. And the long wait while well, 1001 iron pipes are produced. Ooh, got a fair bit of iron, so I guess it's not really a problem. Uh, I don't really need grinding wheels in my inventory. May as well get rid of them. Okay, steam cracker. You are going to do that one. So I've got two lots of residual now. Um, just in case I need this for something else. And there you go, we're getting our ethylene. So, um, once we have the ethylene, ethyl benzene, which is done in an advanced chemical plant. Okay, advanced chemical plant. Uh, we can make the advanced chemical plant two, but let's start off with an advanced chem plant one.
If we ever get there, what are we doing? Iron pipes again. Oh, we need to get rid of uh, that stuff. How far away is that? Just down there. Uh, goodbye, goodbye. Looks like the copper's just recently been picked up from here. Which is all good. Uh, where did you end up? Advanced chem plant. You ended up there, okay. You are going to make... What are you going to make? Ethyl benzene. Okay, ethyl benzene. Uh, ethyl benzene. What's that one? Oh, we don't actually need the hydrogen fluoride gas to make ethyl benzene. We can use green metal catalyst instead. That would probably be better, would it? Ethyl benzene. Oh, no, 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 no. We still need the hydrogen fluoride. We can't... Um... So this is the first step, and then that's the next step. Yeah. And that's pointless for us at the moment. Toluene. We don't need toluene just yet. Ethyl benzene. Liquid plastic, liquid resin, liquid rubber. Oh, butadiene. That's right, I keep forgetting we're going to need that one as well. So, that one. Okay, so nothing ties up with uh, where I was hoping that would tie up. Um... acid gas, right? No, that's hydrogen fluoride gas. Uh, which we still don't have much of a hope of producing uh, without... What did we... We needed all of this crap to produce hydrogen fluoride gas, didn't we? Which is basically... Ah, it's green. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Um, and then that produces carbon dioxide... Do I need carbon dioxide somewhere else in this process? I have no idea. Uh, so what is this exactly? Hydrogen... Acid gas plus green metal catalyst. And an advanced chem plant. Well, we did. We made advanced chem plant twos for that. Which needs some titanium. Okay, let's get some titanium then. Um, again, I think I'll get it from a little bit easier source, which at this point may as well be the source itself. There we go. Uh, advanced chem plant two. Alright, 
Um, advance. Oh, it's still going strong. Come on, come on. Advance chem plant two, okay. Which one is which? That one there is the hydrogen fluoride gas. Okay. Um, and this is the acid gas here. Not very much of it, but some nonetheless. Uh, why? It's got 6.1k down there now. Mind you, it's of 200, I suppose. Large amount of sulfuric wastewater getting consumed in here. I guess we're not actually doing any science whatsoever right now. Because everything else is jammed. Uh, carbon dioxide. Surely there's somewhere that's needing carbon dioxide in all of this collection. What's that one? That's ethanol. Acetone. Methanol. Methanol. Carbon dioxide. There you go. There is a carbon dioxide. This thing here requires carbon dioxide. And I believe we um, create carbon dioxide in these machines. Yes, we do. So, if instead of just burning it off, I force it into here... Oh, where does this go? Carbon dioxide. So we're using it down here. Um, right. So there's another location for carbon dioxide. Uh, if we can get it there. Um, okay. Green metal catalysts. Okay. I have an assembly machine. Doesn't look like it. I may have to move this. Green Metal Catalyst. Um, suspect it doesn't actually need that many. Aluminium ore and silver ore.
Unfortunately, I only have one way of doing this, and it's um, supply a lot. But I guess that just means that we don't have to do it all that often. Actually, what I'm going to do is to force this to work in a reasonable manner. Um, I'm going to um, have one of the drop near and the other drop far. So silver and aluminium it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Silver, aluminium. Go on, finish the rail. Uh, you can be silver ore. That's not the one. Uh, silver ore and it was aluminium, wasn't it? Yeah, you can be aluminium. Um, I'm going to just check it here. Catalysts, where are they? There they are. Uh, silver and aluminium. Right, so. Um, silver and aluminium, okay. What I could do is, um, Ghost reader. Um, constant combinator. So, if I want sixteen thousand, uh, silver ore. Minus 16,000 silver ore and say minus 16,000 aluminium ore. Um, and if we were to connect now, uh, That would be whatever value we have uh, plus this. Um, maybe a decider combinator. Sixteen thousand might be too much. So this is what's called a direct circuit connection. So what I'm going to do is basically say if uh, each each is uh, that's not quite what I want is it uh, I basically want to get a minus one if we don't have enough of each product um, problem is if I divide by 16,000 I will get uh, two. I want a one. Well, I could divide by something that's not. So we could just go, okay. Each divided by a constant. Uh, we could make it 16,000, but then it will only, 
will only order once it gets to zero. I don't really want that. We could make it, say, 8,000. 8,000, which will actually produce two, but uh, he says minus two, which is actually saying send me two, sending one of each. Um, this, it's always going to send one of each, isn't it? I don't think it goes through the product so fast that it's that much of an issue. We'll temporarily block here, I guess. Um, oh, let us also put one of these guys here. Well, there's one. The other one's going to pull up, but just behind and block soon. But oh well. When you do things like, oh, I know what I really need. I need these to unload faster. Then it will be less of an issue. So this will give us our um, Ethyl benzene and hydrogen. Uh, and the ethyl benzene uh, all right, let's go into here. Ethyl benzene um, and green metal catalyst again quite conveniently. And we can use um, we can use chemical plants or we can use advanced chemical plants. So why would you do anything other than a normal chemical plant? Um, I don't know what speed we need. We've got a chemical plant right here. Why don't we just use this? Um, it needs, what does it need? Uh, it needs... Just the one gas and this stuff. So I guess that's a another one of these. Oh, there you go. Second product being loaded on board. Now I don't know how quickly they're going to burn through this, but it doesn't really matter. pretty much have to be the Lord of Plenty um, in Factorio very soon. Do we not have any ethyl benzene? Oh, we do. But the acid gas is still a little bit slow, is it? No, we're not getting rid of the other gases fast enough yet. Um, it's. I think I have some uses for these. Uh, so maybe I want gas stores temporarily, just so that I don't have to worry about it for the second. Um, carbon dioxide, I'm going to find a way to get back to the other supply of carbon dioxide, but yeah. So your gas that comes out is styrene. Um, Actually, I'll put you that far away.
And the other one, with a gas that is going in here just very short term. I'll just go there. Uh, right, you now have 200 of this styrene. So we need to know what to do with the styrene. Uh, liquid rubber is exactly what we are after, and we do that in chemical plant. We do that in a chemical plant, okay. Um, okay, chemical plant. Yes, I don't like actually building boards. I need to get rid of these and swap them over to these so it stops doing that. Uh, chemical plant, okay. Uh, liquid rubber, ah, yes. Um, now, how do we get this other gas that you need? This one. Naphtha, that's right. We needed naphtha. We also have a bunch of residual gases. That we have to somehow get rid of. Um, I think the easiest way of doing that will be for you to extend uh, you can't go up to there, can you? Alright, that's not what we'll do. Uh, the residual gas will have to be removed more dramatically. Where is hydrogen? I believe there's hydrogen being used or being sent off somewhere, just up here. Yes, there is. Pipes everywhere. Utter madness. Where's the best way of joining up? Maybe if we just do something like this. Whoa. Okay, now we're getting rid of our hydrogen, effectively, uh, residual gas, residual gas, ah uh, yes. Uh, this one's actually too close now, I really need to bring the residual gas uh, way over here, perhaps. Um, 
turn some power to here. No, that's no good. It's going to have to go up there. Uh, residual gas. get this gas back to where we want it which is probably coming down this way uh, where do we use the residual gas we follow these guys down, I think we get to a point where we can use it. So let's do that. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? How are we doing for time? We are pretty much at the end of our time. Um, I guess next episode we're going to have to replace Tungsten's uh, process with a green algae version. Green, blue algae. that that's carbon dioxide yes we also have a carbon dioxide supply that we need to um, get some pipes into Okay, residual gas. Residual gas um, needs to come through here. Doesn't look like we needed that pole. So that gets rid of that residual gas, adds some more pressure down here for making uh, naphtha another way. Um, okay, so naphtha. Oh, cuts off at this point. awkward we need naphtha to continue because uh, what exactly did we need we needed we needed the butadine um, gas which is another steam cracker process but this and green metal catalyst but this one needs the naphtha so we need another 
Steam cracker. Okay, another steam cracker. Um, steam cracker. These ste no, no, steam cracker. Right. Let's just see if our efforts so far have alleviated any pressure. No, none. <laughs> and this is backed up to the hilt. Uh, steam cracker. Okay, so if these gases are going to come up here, we probably want it there, and that is um, that one. So you need green metal catalyst as well. I'm glad they're using the same catalyst. I almost expected they'd just use three different ones just to spite you, but um, not so. Okay, we need some more iron. This is iron. Um, okay, one of those. demand for these products uh, steam we should be able to get some steam down here. Uh, that's awkward. I didn't realize I had this extra requirement, so I mucked that up a little bit, but never mind. You actually struggling to cope now? No, not really. Uh, so we need to get the naphtha up to here, okay? Um, at the moment, this is naphtha over here. So. for another tungsten pipe. Oh. Yeah, this is awkward. Okay, that's... Uh, fortunately, this is pretty close. Um, uh... Could actually just continue the nap for directly. Yeah. in gas and more residual gas uh, okay the residual gas can join this one actually why don't I just go like that And this gas needs to come up to there, I think. Uh, 
uh, you need some of those. Got steam, you have naphtha. Why aren't you making green metal catalysts? Because you need at least 10 to make any. Suspect we've got too many now, but. Um, so now we're making liquid rubber. Uh, liquid rubber. It's turned into normal rubber in an assembly machine. And again with this nonsense. Oh well. Uh, where did we see rubber? There. And that one needs rubber and tinned copper wire. Okay, so now we have rubber. And what are we going to do with that rubber? Very good question. Um, I don't have an answer for you right now on that. Um, I mean, the, the point is that it needs to go into the process down here. Uh, that one right there, which needs insulated wire and a lot of it. Um... But that's how we get it there, whether we just have a great big long belt or if I put it on a train, but then we have to have it in a very large quantity. And I don't think the way we're set up at the moment sort of supports a very large quantity. Um, are you dropping? Yes, you are dropping. Okay, well that's good. Anyway, um, 15,000. Uh, let's see, each of these would be 2,000. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 15. 15, 2, 15, 4, 15, 6. So, you know, it's gone down 330-odd. Um, and this is full, obviously, so it's come to a halt. I think, just so that nothing is being held up... Oh, I can make a titanium chest. Let's just make a brass chest. I don't really like the idea of this on one very long belt. We might need a faster assembly machine. But anyway, I'm going to leave you there, guys. Thanks very much for joining me. Look forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye for now.